Hello, Florida Fishy Finger. This is my YouTube channel where I talk about all the fishing things that I do, and I'm now the proud owner of an Ancona Shadowcast technical polling skiff. And this thing is sweet. Check it out. We got a guide green on a float on trailer, aluminum. It is just beautiful. These are the first fishing poles we put inside. Got our cushions up there. Got a sweet live well. They really did everything. They got a shut off valve. Plenty of space for more than enough bait in there. That also doubles as a cooler. Navigation lights right through the console. Sweet grab bar. Nice wide gunnels. Plenty of storage for a boat this size, that's for sure. They even did things like they've got a, a water fuel separator already in there. Uh, the drain plug, it's the kind that you don't take out so you never lose it. The classic tunnel hull. Power trim and tilt. Got this Tahatsu fuel injected, super fuel efficient 20 horsepower engine. One of the things I love about this boat is the fact that the transom comes up like this. I've had transoms that are scooped down and it's always a problem with water sloshing over the back. Just a clean boat. Look at that. For an anchor pin. So sweet. My dream fishing boat is now a reality. Look at that. We also got the folding, folding tongue so that we can put it in the garage. It's got that V hull. And then flat it up through the back. Man, that is a fishing machine. We also got a nice pole I got from my buddy Glenn. Look at that. Oh yeah, Ancona Shadowcast. They had lots of other boats out in front when we went to pick it up this morning at Fort Pierce. And uh, some of the salt marsh boats, which are made from Kevlar, they were super cool. Wish I could just get one of each. But uh, this is about all I could fathom right now. It's about the most boat that I could possibly fit into my, into my uh, garage. Oh, one other thing is, got a nice on-off switch for the power, so you don't drain your battery out if you forget to leave stuff on. Uh, switch for the nav lights, one for the bilge, We've got under gunnel lighting, which is uh, accessory one, and then, uh, yeah, the navigation lights. So, I mean, the live well. Yeah, super, super stoked on my new Shadowcast 16. We're going to go out and it's, uh, we got a tropical storm coming in. So it's overcast with a little bit of wind, but we think we're going to do real well. We're going to go test every aspect of this boat. So, yeah. If you like flats boats and technical polling skips, you know by looking at this. This thing. Oh, we also had the, the two uh, trolling rod holders put on there. You know that this thing is rigged for maximum fishing possibility. So hey, if you like these kinds of videos, go ahead and subscribe to our YouTube channel, Florida Fishy Finger, and you can be updated whenever we put out new videos. And uh, we're going to be taking a lot of trips on this shadow cast, a lot. And so you'll get to see our fishing adventures on the beast of the east. Green Machine in Kona Shadowcast 16. So thanks for watching Florida Fishy Finger. If you like these kinds of videos, go ahead and give it a thumbs up, subscribe, and thanks for watching Florida Fishy Finger.